listen to your battery powered radio for instructions and information concerning community. Imagine walking into an exhibition confronted by the preserved bodies of once living humans. Did you ever stop to wonder where these bodies came from? This is the unsettling reality of body exhibitions. It's an immersive experience with 20 cadavers and 200 body parts on display, all preserved through a process called plastination. But the intrigue extends far beyond the scientific marvel of it all. There's a certain chill that creeps up your spine when you consider the origin of these bodies. The official narrative is that they were provided by the Dalian Medical University Biology Plantation in China. However, there's a significant lack of documentation to confirm their identities or to certify that they were willingly donated. This has to some disturbing claims suggesting a darker truth. Some believe these bodies may have belonged to Chinese political prisoners, tortured and executed for their beliefs. But what if these bodies had a dark secret, a story that was never meant to be told? Doctors and investigators have raised unsettling questions about the true origin of these bodies. The whispers of suspicion have now grown into a resonating chorus, echoing through the halls of the exhibition. The bodies preserved in detail are said to possibly belong to Chinese political prisoners, individuals who may have been subject to the harshest forms of torture and ultimately murder. The chilling allegations draw attention to an even more disturbing fact. There is a conspicuous absence of any kind of documentation that verifies the identities of these bodies. No forms, no records, no evidence that these individuals willingly donated their bodies for the sake of science. The lack of transparency raises a critical question, one that forces us to confront a potentially horrifying reality. Are these exhibitions visited by thousands in the name of education and curiosity actually a ghoulish display of human rights abuses? Could it be possible that we are unknowingly witnessing the macabre display of human rights violations? The horrifying reality of the trade in human cadavers is not a mere speculation. It's a chilling fact that has been brought to light by various researches and investigations. The evidence points towards a significant trade in human cadavers from China, a disturbing truth that has been obscured by layers of denials and evasions. The chief executive of the Real Bodies exhibition vehemently denies these claims, maintaining that the bodies were inspected by health departments in multiple countries. However, the lack of proper documentation of the identities of the deceased or proof that they willingly donated their bodies fuels the controversy. Public backlash has been swift and fierce. Questions have been raised, not only about the origin of these bodies, but also about the ethics of displaying human remains for entertainment. Critics argue that the rights of the deceased should not be overlooked, regardless of the educational value of such exhibitions. In the end, the ethical implications of these exhibitions are as real as the bodies on display. These grim revelations serve as a stark reminder that behind every body lies a story, and perhaps a heartbreaking truth. Having a disaster get ready, we'll increase your family's chances.